Have you ever heard someone say, you only use 10% of your brawn? Or maybe you've been told that you're more, right-brained, if you're creative and, left-brained, if you're logical? It sounds intriguing, doesn't it? But here's the big question, is any of it true? Today, we're diving into some of the biggest myths about the brain that have been around for decades. And guess what? They're not just wrong. They're even more fascinating once you know the truth. Myth 1. We only use 10% of our brains. Alright, let's start with the classic, the 10% of the bra and myth. Have you ever wondered where this idea even came from? Why would we only be using 10% of this powerful organ that consumes so much of our energy? Well, here's what's funny, no one really knows exactly where it began, but it's stuck around for over a century. It's comforting to think there's some hidden power we can unlock if we just try hard enough. But scientifically, is that even close to the truth? Here's the reality. Every part of our brain has a known function, and we actually use all of it, yes, even the so-called, unused, parts. Neuroscientists have studied the brain extensively, and through MRI scans, they can see activity happening throughout the entire brain, even when we're resting. Think about it. If we really only used 10%, wouldn't it be possible to damage the other 90% without any consequences? But that's not the case. Brain injuries, no matter where they occur, almost always impact us. Why? Because all of it is essential. Myth 2. Left-brained versus right-brained. Now, let's get into the left-brained versus right-brained myth. I bet you've heard this one too, right? If you're good at math and logic, you must be left-brained. And if you're creative, you're definitely right-brained. It sounds neat, and it's kind of tempting to box ourselves into one of these categories, but, is it real? Here's what we know from research. Yes, our brains have two hemispheres, and they do specialize in certain tasks. But both sides work together all the time. They communicate constantly through a structure called the corpus callosum. For example, when you're playing music, you're using both hemispheres. Sure, the right hemisphere might help with the creative flow, but the left hemisphere helps you follow the rhythm. Even the most analytical tasks, like solving a math problem, require both sides of the brain. So, if you've ever been told you're either one or the other, left-brained or right-brained, the truth is, you're beautifully complex. And isn't that so much more exciting than being just one thing? Myth 3. Memory works like a video recorder. Alright, here's a fun one. How do you think memory works? Most people think of it like a video recorder, we capture memories and then play them back whenever we need them. But, is it that simple? Not really. Actually, the truth is almost the opposite, and it might surprise you. When we remember something, our brain isn't playing back a recording. Instead, it's piecing together bits and pieces of information, sort of like putting together a puzzle. Each time you remember something, you're reconstructing it. And guess what? That's why memories can change over time. Researchers have even found that our memories are easily influenced by things around us. Our emotions, the people we talk to, and even what others say about the same event. Imagine you went to a party with friends, and a few years later, you and your friends are talking about that night. Each of you might remember different details, and as you discuss it, you might start to remember things that didn't actually happen. Memory is a lot more like storytelling than recording, and sometimes, that's a little unsettling, but it's also what makes our memories personal and unique to us. Myth 4. Brain games make you smarter, and lastly, let's talk about brain games. You've probably seen ads or apps that claim playing games on your phone can make you smarter. Sounds convenient, right? Just play some puzzles and voila, you'll be a genius. But, is that true? Build up some curiosity. Here's the thing. These games do help you get better at the game itself. If you play a memory game, you'll likely get faster and more skilled at remembering things within that game. But studies have shown that this improvement doesn't usually carry over into your daily life. It doesn't necessarily make you a better problem solver or help you remember where you left your car keys. So, what does help keep our brains sharp? Things like physical exercise, which has been shown to improve brain function, learning new skills, challenging yourself with different types of mental activities, and, yes, getting good sleep. Our brains thrive on variety and balance. Brain games can be fun, but they're just one tiny piece of a much bigger picture. So, there you have it. Four of the biggest brain myths, debunked. Isn't it amazing to know that the reality is even more interesting than the myths? Our brains are incredibly powerful, and they're working hard every second of every day, even if we don't always understand how. Let's be grateful for that 100% of our brain that's working behind the scenes for us. 
and instead of limiting ourselves to being left-brained or right-brained, let's embrace the whole, beautiful complexity of who we are. After all, we're using every part of our brain to experience life, to learn, to grow, and to remember. If you found this video fascinating, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and let us know in the comments, what other brain myths have you heard? Let's keep exploring, keep questioning,